I'm Zach George. I train dogs, and this is my new dog, Inertia. I'm taking you along as I train her from day one. You can start from the beginning or pick up anywhere and start learning. Welcome to the dog training experience. At this point in the series, so many of you have asked me to detail my daily routine when training inertia. In today's episode, I'm gonna cover what an average day of training looks like with a three month old puppy like inertia. Obviously, there are many of you watching who have lots of different types of dogs with different needs. So periodically, I like to discuss super premium dog foods with you guys. Solid Gold is a brand of food that's been around for over 40 years and people who use Solid Gold with their dogs swear by it. Choosing a food that's perfect for your dog is pretty tough, but one good place to start is to make sure that your dog food has really good ingredients. And immediately when I look at these top ingredients, you have lamb, lamb meal, brown rice. There's a lot of great quality protein and healthy grains in this food. There's over 20 superfoods in this formula. Things like carrots, pumpkin, blueberries, broccoli, almond oil, and more. So you can tell solid gold puts a lot of thought into a food like this. All solid gold dry recipes have ocean fish meal for fatty acids and egg protein for muscle growth and metabolism. This solid gold sea meal is really innovative. It supports skin and coat, digestive and immune health too. I also like these meal top so maybe if your dog's a picky eater or you're trying to give them some extra nutrition, these bone broth meal toppers are awesome. Nice short ingredient list and they have these in a few different flavors too. Right now, Solid Gold is gonna give you 30% off of your first order by visiting solidgoldpet.com slash Zach. I'll have a link in the description. Solid Gold is available worldwide too. I thought it would be a great idea to take a step back in our series right now and really just cover what a day of training actually looks like with a three month old dog. For me, it works out to break the day into three rounds or three sections. I'm in the habit of getting up pretty early in the morning in general, but when you have a puppy, that can be extra important. So I get up typically around 5 a.m. or so to let Inertia out to do her business and just kind of wake up. And when she does have those successes outside and does her business and goes pee and poop, I'm really in the habit of praising her and letting her know I appreciate that, following it up with some playtime, maybe a food reward. Potty training is still far from over. My mindset isn't even like, is she she getting close to being potty trained, I'm still like, okay, she's nowhere near being potty trained. Now, fortunately, the good thing about having an attitude like this is that she has not been in a position to have many accidents at all lately. I've been really good about controlling her environment, making sure she's got her little puppy bedroom, which is the crate and exercise pen combo. And she's been really great about not having accidents in her little bedroom area. My preference would be to take her on a short walk, but she's too young to go on walks in neighborhoods or the park behind our house because a fair amount of dogs frequent those areas and she has to get her final round of vaccinations before we can do that. So in place of that, I've been letting her do a lot of free play in the yard and just letting her explore the world. And if it turns out that she's like in this extra playful mood, I'll encourage her to play with me and we'll do some basic fetch or some type of training like that. Or maybe I'll try and get her to chase me just to really try and move her towards this fluid game of fetch that I'm hoping to train over the next few months with her. So it's usually only about an hour or so that I let her kind of play around, get some of that energy out. And then I'll put her in her puppy bedroom and give her some breakfast. And then she usually passes out for like hours. So I really take advantage of this still morning time to let her sleep so I can get my work done because I do have a job outside of training her, contrary to what many people might think. I know a lot of people with full-time jobs where you have to leave your house, who have a new puppy can get really stressed out and overwhelmed because they think they need to do so much. But you know, if you'll just get up approximately one hour earlier, which I understand may be inconvenient, but if you got a puppy, you gotta do what you gotta do, right? But if you'll spend that hour with them, just doing some play and general training with them, whatever you're working on, you should find that most puppies, especially that young, will sleep for many hours. So you can go off to work knowing that they're probably content until about lunchtime. So when she wakes up a few hours later around mid day, say 12 o'clock or so, that's when I'll do some more formal training with her, either focusing on things that she's already learned and trying to get those to look a little bit better. I also take advantage of this time to introduce introductory training exercises to new things that I intend to teach her later. Maybe a trick like play dead or roll over, you know, something like that. Usually inertia's attention span is around 15 minutes or so. If she's really in the mood, I might give her a 10 minute break after that 15 minute session and see if I can get another one out of her. But that really depends on how she's 
feeling on that particular day. I'll also be sure to give her some general outdoor exposure because you'll remember that getting your dog used to paying attention to you while outside is one of the most challenging parts of getting a dog to listen to you. By desensitizing her and just getting her used to being in the world without being asked to do anything and allowing her to smell around and just take everything in is a huge part of training. And it's pretty low maintenance on my part. She does her thing, I do mine, everyone's happy. If she does indicate that she's kind of interested in paying attention, I might do some very light training on stuff that she understands very well at this point, like sit, and lie down with a lure, for example. But if she just wants to completely tune me out and ignore me and just sniff the ground, that's okay too right now. So for those of you with a traditional full-time job, it would be ideal to come home during lunch and spend anywhere between 30 minutes to an hour with your dog if possible. If you're unable to do that though, maybe you have a family member that can help out. And also doggy daycare can be a wonderful option for many of you as well. So once I'm done doing that, I'll probably bring her inside, let her just have some casual time in the house. She's been really enjoying playing with our older senior dog, Indy, a lot. And Indy's been enjoying her a lot too. So they've been having a lot of bonding going on. So I'll usually let them play for a little bit and then I'll put inertia back up and encourage her to settle down and she usually, yet again, goes to sleep almost immediately. It is incredible how much young puppies sleep. Once Inertia finally wakes up, it's time for her final round of the day. With Inertia being as young as she is, we've been taking her to a different place virtually every day just to really show her that there's lots of things to see out there. Now, of course, the catch is, as I mentioned earlier, she hasn't had her final round of vaccinations. So those places typically tend to be dog-friendly bars and restaurants where a ton of dogs don't really go. I found a couple of sports fields that are pretty well kept so we've kind of snuck into those to try and give her some time to run around and play. It's also been great taking her to a lot of our friends' houses. Some of them have dogs, and as long as those dogs are vaccinated, as our friends' dogs are, then it's cool with her to meet with those dogs and interact with them. So at this point, you know, we'll return home, and I might do one more 10 to 15 minute training session with her. That's dependent on, again, how she's feeling and if she's tired, or I might let her play with Indy. It's just kind of this flexible time that I have for her that I utilize in a way that makes the most sense for that given day. After she's done with all of that, I'll feed her, let her digest her food for an hour or so, take her out to do her business, and then I'll put her up for the night. Now I'm careful to make sure that she has lots of good chew toys that are safe for her, water to drink, things like that. And inertia has been so fantastic about just passing out and sleeping to the next morning where we'll do it all over again. Now as she gets older, she's not going to sleep quite so much. So there's going to be additional challenges moving forward. There are some additional things that I like to bring up too that you can do throughout the day. For example, I'm very careful to make sure that when she is awake, maybe she hasn't passed out as quickly as she normally does. I'm careful to make sure that she goes out and has potty breaks every hour that she is conscious. I'll also focus on reinforcing general training throughout the day too. For example, I might do a very casual come when called training session when in a new public place when we're doing our socialization sessions. Or when she's playing with Indy, I might work on settle training between rounds of play. So there are plenty of opportunities throughout the day to implement spontaneous training sessions that just last a few seconds or so. Maybe you're trying to practice a real life leave it and you throw a sock in front of your dog and have them leave it. So there's a lot of that type of thing that goes on during the training process right now. And remember, for those of you looking for a new high quality premium food, check out Solid Gold. I'll have a link in the description. And in order to make it extra easy to try, Solid Gold is going to give you 30% off of your first order. Just go to Solid solidgoldpet.com slash Zach. I'll have that link below. I want to extend a sincere thank you. This series with Inertia has exceeded all of our expectations and you've made us very happy with all of your warm comments and engagement. You're going to love the next episode. Watching Inertia learn the things that she's going to learn next are just fascinating. See you guys.